in today's online class. Myself Samantha Madam, today I am going to teach you a topic of English grammar. The name of this topic is parts of speech. This topic is very important to learn English language. This topic is also very important for fifth class scholarship students. So listen and watch this video carefully. Now we are going to learn what are parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech in English language. See, noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, consumption, and intersection. All these eight words are called the parts of speech. As we all know, a sentence is a collection of words that makes a complete sense. A sentence is a collection of words that makes a complete sense. Each word in a sentence belongs to a particular part of speech. And all words in English language are divided into different classes or all words in English language are divided in different kinds. These kinds or these classes are called a parts of speech. Let us learn in detail all these eight parts of speech. The first, the first part of speech is noun. Noun is the part of speech that names a person, place, animal or thing. Noun is the part of speech that names a person, place, animal or thing. Have a look on some examples. Flower, paint, bangle, sima, neha, pencil, godavari, bag, book. All these words are called a nouns because they are the names of things or they are the, they are the names of some person. In this way, all these words are nouns. Now, we will see some sentences about noun. See, the first sentence, Rohan is going to market. In this sentence, word Rohan and market are nouns. Because Rohan is the name of one person and market is the name of one place. So, these two words are nouns. In the second sentence, lion and forest are nouns. Because lion is the name of one animal and forest is also the name of one place. In this way, lion and forest are nouns. In this way, we use many nouns. The names of rivers, the names of animals, the names of fruits, the names of villages, the names of cities, names of your friends, names of your relatives. All these words are examples of nouns. In this way, noun is the part of speech that names a person, place, animal or thing. The next part of speech is pronoun. Pronoun. A pronoun is a word used in place of noun to avoid a repetition or it is a word or a pronoun is a word used to replace a noun. Let us see some examples of pronoun. I, you, we, they, he, see, it, me, us, them, him, her, this, those. All these words are called a pronouns. Pronouns are used to replace the noun or it is also used to a repetition of noun in a sentences. Now we are going to see some sentences about pronoun. See this four sentences. The first sentence is Mohan is clever boy. Mohan is hard working. Mohan's father is a farmer. Mohan lives in a village. Look at the sentences. All these four sentences 
tell us about what person Mohan. We cannot say every time Mohan, Mohan. We can avoid the repetition of noun Mohan by using pronoun. See how we can use pronouns. Mohan is hardworking. We can use here pronoun he. He is hardworking. In the third sentence, we can use his. His father is a farmer. In the fourth sentence, we can use he. In this way, we can avoid the repetition of noun by using these pronouns. Mohan is clever boy. He is hardworking. His father is a farmer. He lives in a village. In this way, we can Avoid repetition of noun by using pronouns in a sentences and for uh, or and to avoid this repetition we use all these pronouns I, you, we, they, he, see, it, me, us, them, him, her, this, those. In this way, a pronoun is a word used in place of noun. It helps us to avoid uh, it help us to avoid repetition of a noun. The next part of speech is adjective. An adjective describes or gives information about a noun or pronoun. An adjective describes or gives information about a noun or pronoun. It tells about the color, the look and nature of a noun or pronoun in a sentence. Look some examples. Of an adjective, happy, green, young, funny, bad, big, small, crunchy. It also called as a, a describing words. It also called a, as describing words because they describe something. Now we will see some sentences about an adjective. See these two sentences. The little girl had a hat. In, this, in the first sentence, the word liter is an adjective because it is used here to describe the noun girl. Girl is a noun. So, liter is an adjective. In the second sentence, the house is big. In this sentence, the word big is an adjective because it is describing the noun house. House is a noun. It is a name of one thing. So it is a noun. In this way, in these two sentences, little and big are, these two words are an adjective. And ad these two words are adjectives. In this way, an adjective is used to describe the noun or pronoun in a sentences. They are also called a describing words. The next part of speech is verb. Word is used to show an action. Word is used to show an action. All action words are called a verbs. For example, go, speak, run, play, see, walk, eat. A point to be noted here that M, is, are, was, were, have, has, had, do, did, does, will are helping words because they use in a sentence to help make words. Go, speak, run, play, see, walk, eat. All these words are main words. They are called a main words. And helping words are used up to complete the meaning of main verb in a sentence. Helping verb is a verb. It comes before main verb. Helping verb comes before main verb in a sentence and they use the to complete the meaning of main verb. So they are helping words. Now we are, we are going to see some sentences about verb. See some sentences of work I am teaching. In this sentence, teaching is work because it is showing.
showing an action and M is helping work because it is helping here to complete the meaning of main work teaching. So it is helping work. It is worked here as a helping work. In the second sentence, he goes to school. The word goes is work. It is also, also showing an action. So it is a work. In the third sentence, the word walk is action word. It is work. In this way, in these three sentences, teaching, goals and work are verbs. In this way, work is used to show an action. Part of speech is an adverb. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective or another adverb. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective or another adverb. It adds more information about an adjective or an adverb in a sentence. It tells how, when, how often the action is done or something is happened. Have a look at some examples of an adverb. Slowly, quietly, always, never, to, well, tomorrow. All these words are examples of adverb. Now, we will see some sentences about an adverb. The first sentence, Soham sings slowly. Soham sings slowly. In this sentence, the word slowly is an adverb because it is giving more information about verb sings. Here, sings is an action word and in this sentence, the word slowly is giving more information about word sing. It tells us how how Soham is singing. So, slowly is an adverb. In the second sentence, yesterday I ate my lunch. The word yesterday is an adverb because it is also giving more information about work ate. Yesterday is giving information about work A. A is an action word. So, yesterday, in the sentence, word yesterday is an adverb. In this way, adverbs are used to describe words in a sentence. They are also adds more information about adverb. In this way, we use adverbs in a sentences. The next part of speech is preposition. A preposition shows a relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word. Preposition shows a relationship of a noun or pronoun to another word. It also tells position, location and time of a sentence. Have a look at some examples. At, on, from, in, near, between, about, under, near. All these words are called a preposition. Prepositions. Now we will see some sentences about preposition. See the first sentence. We went to school on Monday. In this sentence, word to and on are prepositions. To is used here to show location and on is used to show time. In this way, to and on are two prepositions because they are giving us information of school. So, these two words are to and on are prepositions. In the second sentence, ball is on the table. The word on is preposition because it is 
also using here to show location of ball it shows the location of ball so the word on is a preposition ball is a noun it is giving us information about ball in this way in, in this two in this two sentences word uh, in these two sentences to on and also on are prepositions in this way we can use prepositions to show time place or position or relationship of noun or pronoun to another words in a sentence the next part of speech is conjunction a conjunction joins two words ideas phrases together in a sentence and also shows how they are connected conjunctions are also called a connectors because they used to connect words or they used to connect or to join words ideas phrases together so they are called a connectors have a look at some examples of conjunction and or but so because yet unless since and if all this now we will see some sentences about conjunction see the first sentence seema and neha are good friends seema and neha are good friends in this sentence the word and is used in here to connect or to join two nouns seema and neha in this way word and is a conjunction in the next sentence give me a pen or a pencil give me a pen or a pencil here the word or is using as a conjunction because it is also used to join two words pen and pencil in this way we use conjunctions to join two phrases to ideas or two words they are also used to join two sentences so they are called a connectors in this way we have learned about conjunction the next part of speech is intersection and intersection is a word that expresses a strong feeling or emotion intersection is used to express our strong feeling or our emotions for example wow great bravo oh alas of they used to express our feelings now we will see some sentences about an intersection some examples of an intersection wow what a beautiful dress in this sentence the word wow is used as an intersection because it is expressing a strong feeling in the next sentence hi how are you it is used as an intersection because it is also expressing a strong feeling all uh, intersections are always come with an exclamation mark they come with an exclamation mark in a sentences in this way we use intersection to show our strong feelings in this way we have learned all eight parts of speech noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction and an intersection all these eight parts of speech are very important i have told you that a sentence is a collection of words and each word belongs belongs to a particular part of speech now we will see how each word is a particular part of speech see meena meena is going to school in this sentence every word is part of speech meena is noun is 
helping verb. Going is main verb. To it is a preposition. And school is noun. In this way, in the first sentence, one, two, three, and four, four parts parts of speech are used here in the for a first sentence. In the second sentence, my father is a good doctor. My is pronoun. Father is a noun. Is it is a helping verb and good is an adjective and doctor is a noun. In this way, in the second sentence, one, two, three, four, four parts of speech are used in the second sentence. In this way, Every sentence is made with all parts of speech. All parts of speech are used in sentences. In this way, we have learned everything about parts of speech. So, learn all these parts part of speech. They are very useful and also they are very important to learn English language. So, listen and watch this video again and again to learn eight parts of speech. Thank you.